Hey everybody, Gary from DIY Electronics. Um, this video here today that I'm making is, is a retake of a video I made, I, I, I'm not really sure, I think it maybe a year and a half ago. And what this video is about is getting your installer code out of the alarm system so that you can have full control of your Ademco system. Now when I say Ademco system, I mean the ADT SafeWatch Pro, the ADT, there's all kinds of different ADT um, names that they, they gave it. But basically, it's a it's a it's an Ademco or a Honeywell, if you want to call it, or Residio. Um, they're all Ademco panels or Honeywell panels. All right. You got the Vista 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 75, 128. They're all Ademcos, and this should work on every single one of those. Also, you got panels out there from First Alert called the FA-110, 120, 130, 140, same thing. It's it's all Ademco, Honeywell, you know, however you want to call it. Now, do not even bother calling your alarm company and asking them for the installer code because they'll say, oh, we... We don't keep that on file. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to send a technician out and uh, he will get that code out of there for you. And when that technician comes out there, he's not going to take get the code out of there for you. He's going to perform whatever you, you know, want. He'll get the the, you know, the master code and everything back for you, get you up and running, charge you $300, but he's not going to give you that that installer code. Um and then you're still you're still dead in the water. There's nothing you can do. You can't you can't without that installer code. You can't add anything into your system yourself. You can't subtract anything yourself. They keep you hostage with that installer code. And I'm going to show you how to extract that installer code without the the help of your alarm company. You're going to be able to do it yourself. All right. And let's see. Am I missing anything? I'm going to show you how to get into program, get out of program. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the master code. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to show you how to extract that master code. The uh, not master code. I'm going to show you how to extract the installer code out of the system, so you have full control of the alarm system. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to spin you around, and I'm going to show you how to get this done. Um, right now, the alarm panel that I have. Um, I went in and I put an installer code in there. I just scrambled it. So I don't even know what the code is. I just went like this blindly until the panel beeped and it accepted the code. So I myself don't even know what the, the master code, I mean, the, not the master, I keep on saying master code. The installer code is for this system. All right, let me pause you. I'm going to turn you around. All right, ladies and gents, um, this would be a familiar site. It could be upstairs in your closet, it could be in the basement, it could be in your garage. Um, sometimes you'll even find these in the attic, which they should not be in the attic because these boards are not to military spec and they can't take the heat if they're up in the attic. All right, so it's, it's very unlikely that it's going to be in the attic, but I have seen ADT and other companies put it up in the attic. So if you can't find it, if you've got a pull down staircase, it may be up in the attic. So once you find this master control uh, panel, um, most likely it's screwed shut or if there's a key, all right, look up on one of these antennas. All right, see those antennas up there? Sometimes the holes will take the key and throw it down and, and it'll be sitting right up here on top. Just take your key and then open the panel up, okay? Now, if if you cannot find the key for it and it's locked, just put a screwdriver inside of this inside of the door and just pop it, and it it'll pop right off of this. All right. I mean, it's your panel. You know, you're going to take control of this, so just pop it right open. The heck with your alarm company. I just want to get that steady. Okay. So the first thing you want to do after you get the panel off is you'll find the battery in here. Just Take one lead off, doesn't matter, red or black, red or black. Just take one lead off of your battery, all right? Now you gotta start looking around in the close proximity of this panel. Um, you're going to be wanting to look for 
a transformer plugged into the wall that looks like this. All right. And sometimes, right there where that hole is, where my finger is, there'll be a screw in there. You want to unscrew it because that's what's going to be holding it into the outlet so that it doesn't uh, accidentally get bumped. Oops. That's okay. That, that was just a low battery indicator um, because I unplugged it. But anyways, find the transformer, okay? Take that, take the screw out if it's in there. Pull it right out, set it off to the side for a moment. All right, now the next thing you wanna do is after you get it completely powered down, just go to the keypad and hit any key. All right, if it makes a beep, you unplug the wrong transformer. So there's gonna be another transformer. I, I have run into this. Customers have called me and say, hey, Gary, I, I unplugged the transformer, still got power in it. Well, you unplugged the wrong transformer. Um, not only does, you know, Ademco use this type of transformer, it, it could be for anything. It could be for your doorbell. It could be for a pool alarm. It could be for your sprinkler system. Um, but if you still have power on it after you unplug this, it doesn't belong to your alarm. All right, keep on looking around. You gotta, you gotta find it there. But this panel has to be completely dead. No beeps, no nothing, no lights. And you're ready to go for the next step. All right, so the next step is you pl plug in the battery. Now, I wanna stop for a moment. Before you plug your transformer back in, all right. If you can't get to this panel within 45 seconds, ha I'm not not this panel, but this keypad. If you can't get it to it within 45 seconds of plugging the transformer in, have somebody near the keypad ready to hit star and pound at the exact same time. All right, um, within 45 seconds of plugging in the transformer. All right, let me, let me just go over that again. This transformer, okay, when you plug it in, you only have 45 seconds to get to the keypad to press star and pound at the same time. And again, if you can't get to it within 45 seconds, all right, have somebody upstairs or wherever the keypad is standing by ready to hit star and pound at the same time when you power it up. All right. Now they don't have to do it immediately, you know, sitting there very tense and everything else, getting ready, get, you know, getting nervous. Just calmly plug in the transformer and yell upstairs, hey, honey, go ahead and hit star and pound at the same time. That's all you got to do. You, you don't have to be in a hurry on this. But again, you do have to be to the keypad within 45 seconds of powering up uh, from the transformer. Oops, I hit the pause by mistake. Sorry, guys. All right. I'm going to power the system back up. Beep. All right. So now, what you have to do is hit star and pound at the very same time. You'll see a number 20 come up on the keypad. All right. The next step is you're going to hit pound to zero but when you hit pound to zero watch the numbers that flash on the screen there's going to be four numbers four numbers flashing those four numbers i want you to write them down in the sequence that you see them in the screen because that is your installer code so watch what happens i'm going to hit pound to zero and my installer code is two, three, nine, eight. That is my installer code is two, three, nine, eight. Now watch, I'll do, you can do it again. You hit pound two, zero. Two, three, nine, eight. That is your installer code. The next step is to hit star nine, nine. What star 99 does, it gets you out of the program. It gets you out of the program and ready for your, the next step. So now, say that you do not know what the code is, all right? Um, I believe my code is one, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four, away. Yeah. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Alright, but let's just pretend that you do not know what your your master code is. I'm going to show you how to change it now that you know what your installer code is. You'll be able to change it. All right. So to change the install the um, master code, now that you have your installer code, is like this. Okay, guys. So now that you have the installer code, now you can change the master code okay right now my master code is one two three four away all right one two three four off. Away. but Disarm. let's let's Disarm. just let's just pretend you do not know what your master code is you can now change the master code that you have the installer code by following this procedure you go two three nine eight and then you hit eight zero two and then the four new numbers you want to use as your master code, but you only have 20 seconds to do this procedure to change it. So again, you use your installer code. Mine is 2398. Then you hit the number 8, 0, 2, and the four new numbers you want to use. All right. I'm going to change... So we already know that my master is one, two, three, four, but let's just pretend again that I don't know what it is. I'm gonna change my master to two, two, three, one. All right, so again, install a code, two, three, nine, eight, hit the eight, zero, two, new code. You hear that one beep, okay? So one, two, three, four, away, no longer works because I changed it. It's two, two, three, one away. Two, two, three, one arm off. Away. Disarmed. Ready to arm. All right. So now, guys, what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I want to show you again how to change the master code, if you don't know what it is, using your installer code that you got out of the panel in that previous um, little scenario. I'm going to change the two, two, three, one back to, back to one two three four so again you hit your installer code two three nine eight then you hit eight zero two and the new code you want to use which is going to be one two three four for me so two three nine eight eight zero two one two three four all right so two two three one two it's gone one two three four away one two three four off Disarmed. Ready to arm. That is it, guys. Let me get you back over here to my palacious, my palacious studio behind the black mic. <sighs> so, that is how you do it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them down below. Um, and just... I did have one um, subscriber said he did the procedure and he only got three numbers. So I, I don't know how that happened, but uh, at some point he must have got the four numbers because he did he did finally um, take over his panel again. He got the installer code. That's the only real glitch I ever seen out there. Was it? He said it was only giving him three numbers. I don't know. But anyways, questions, comments, uh, hit the like, subscribe, hit all the buttons like I always say. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this clears it up from my previous video. Like I said, it was all over the place. Thanks, guys.